reigning rushing champ, diving for the pylon, and Coach Stump. Today on NFL Films presents... I want to show you this clip. I actually have a clip of something that he's done that I think that you would like. So if you want to say anything to him, now's your chance. What is this a clip of? It's he's on the Zoom. Oh, he's on the Zoom. Oh, my gosh. I'm tweaking out. Oh, no. Can you open it up? Oh, no. Open it up. Oh, These no. days, it no. seems like this surprise Zoom call, which we'll get to later, is about the only thing that doesn't come easily to Colts running back Jonathan Taylor. Oh my gosh, <laughs> NFL Films got me. They act like I don't know how to work technology. <laughs> Best running back in the NFL in 2021. Jonathan Taylor starts right, cuts left. He's at the 45, he's at the 50, in the clear. The dynamic Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor has been in beast mode. He's a special player. He's an MVP candidate. They're back, they're stubbed, they're workhorse. Jonathan Taylor. This kid's just absolutely dynamic. Oh my. Jonathan Taylor passing Lenny Moore for the most rushing touchdowns in a single season in team history. I told Coach, we have the best back in the league and he's hungry. Feed him. I'm with you. Let's go. Hands off to Jonathan Taylor. Big hole. There we go. Before Jonathan Taylor won the NFL rushing title, he was just a science-loving kid with a 4.1 GPA here at Salem High School in New Jersey. Was this your actual classroom? I wasn't in A6. I think I was a couple doors down. Yeah. I was a couple doors down. The AP classes were that way? They were that way. They were that way. <laughs> When's your earliest memory of loving science? It probably was watching like a space movie or, or something like that when I was little. Because as far as I can remember, I just always love space. It's so vast. You just think about, you know, you look up at the sky. There's so much of the unknown out there left to be discovered. Growing up, the future pro bowler's love of science was light years ahead of athletics. But in seventh grade, Taylor boldly went where he had never been before and started playing football. After setting the New Jersey single season rushing record, it appeared the science buff was headed to the Ivy League. Recruited by Harvard, recruited by Yale, how did you end up at Wisconsin? Once I found out that that was a top 20 academic institution, that kind of sealed the deal because I felt like I was able to challenge and push myself and compete in the classroom against other top students mm -hmm. around the world, but then also on the football field as well. Taylor made an instant impact at Wisconsin. In three seasons with the Badgers, he was a three-time All-American and rushed for 6,174 yards, the second most in Big Ten history. He gets a crack, you can't get him down. The guy can make you miss, he can run away from you. What can he do? Taylor didn't break stride after being selected in the second round of the 2020 draft. That boy good. That boy good. Last season, the 22-year-old <laughs> became the youngest player in NFL history to post over 2,000 scrimmage yards and 20 touchdowns in a single season. Killed it, man. Thank you so much, man. We all knew it was going to happen, but I guess everybody else didn't know you were going to do this. And who could forget his big day in Buffalo? Carson Wentz giving off to Taylor, lowers his shoulder across the goal line. Cuts up at the five, stiff arms his way, Jonathan Taylor! That was a thing of beauty. It's grown oh, man activity, man. Jonathan Taylor becomes only the 13th player in the history of the National Football League to have five touchdowns in the same game. And right there, he breaks a franchise record. One, two, three, four, five touchdowns! The five touchdown game was impressive. But in week 15, Taylor had a chance to show off his speed and his smarts. Colts into first down, like their season almost depends on it here. Right now, they're looking to close it out and hang on. It's 20 to 17, 2-11 left. 
Yeah, one first down ends it, boys. That was one of the all-timers. That, that was just a classic how smart he is, how much of a team player he is. Ironically, right as we broke the huddle, the analytics guys were up in my ear saying, hey, this is what we call church mode, which would be go down. And I was like, too late. We just broke the huddle. Too late, Charles. And then secretly inside of me, we none of us really wanted him to go down. Hands off to Taylor. Taylor, big run. He's in the 45, 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, touchdown! Jonathan Taylor! Oh, Did you see me looking yeah, when I was running? Yeah. I was looking on the sideline to see if they wanted me to go down. It's crazy that he was fast enough to think church mode Right? And then still go score. If he went church bowl, like, if I would have saw if I'd have saw y'all like this, I'd have went down. That's that 4.1 GPA, the intelligence that you need in the game. A lot of times in science, you, you have to think critically. In football, you kind of have to think critically, but quickly. So in that situation right there, I was just making sure that I was 100% right on <laughs> getting into the end zone. <laughs> The science part of your life, who was someone that you've always looked up to in that? area. Um, there's an astrophysicist, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He usually is the guy, I'm either reading a book on him, watching a documentary. He breaks down some of the complexities in, in the world to a simple statement, yeah, to a simple it, matter. Yeah. Brilliant. He is brilliant. Like, yeah. It's insane. I want to show you this clip. I actually have a clip of... Remember that Zoom call like from earlier? Like, so well, now's probably a good time to give that another again. shot. Now's your chance. Man, how are you doing today? How are you? How are you? Don't ask me because I'm feeling great right now. How are you feeling today? I hear your, your legs are on the gridiron, but your brain is in the universe sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to ask you, when did you start that quest to advance your thirst for knowledge? That's a, that's a great question. So I think every kid is curious yeah. about everything around them. They turn over rocks and pluck petals off of flowers. And, and when they're really young, half of these activities might do serious damage to them. <laughs> well, what's that edge of the cliff? What's this knife? A scientist is just a kid who never grew up and everything is still this big exploration. And so I retained the curiosity that I had in childhood. The, the NFL films, did they all record that? That's how you raise your kids. Don't tell them to shut up and sit down. That's how I'm doing. You just try, that's the recipe. That's what I'm doing when I have kids. I'm not telling them to shut up and sit down. Thank you so that. much for that. How does it make you feel to have one of the league's best players look up to you? So much of human energy is invested in tracking professional athletes, but maybe some of them have a little geek street cred in them. Maybe some of them, you know, are more than this body performing for fans. Maybe there's some intellectual curiosity that people forget to inquire. Because you're not, you don't care that they're curious, but I do. Why? In a part, because I was a geek jock, okay? I was captain of my high school's wrestling team. And so I want the players to also be curious while you're rushing for 2,000 yards in a season. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. This was, this was an honor, man. Thank you for All taking right, the dudes, time. Have a good day Thank filming. You. Take care. Thank you, man. Thank you Take so care. much. There's people that look at you that way. It's pretty cool to, to know that you're that for someone else. And that's why I do the things that I do and make sure that uh, I live with integrity. There are a lot of kids looking up to you. So maybe I may jumpstart someone's work ethic. If he can do it, why can't I?